Hello again. How many of you remember who I am and what I am teaching you today? <laughs> the sound of the bell should remind you that I am Mrs. Robertson and it's time for your mindful lesson. So raise your hand if you remember what you learned during our last mindful lesson. Okay, you learned mindful bodies and how to be mindful of sound of what you hear. And this is good practice. Every time you hear the singing bowl, that means it's time to get your mindful body and it's time for a mindfulness lesson. So we've learned mindful bodies and mindful sound, being mindful of sound of the things you hear. Today, I'm gonna to teach you one of the most important parts of, mindful, of mindfulness, and that is mindful breathing. Okay, so we gotta be in our mindful bodies. We gotta sit up nice and tall. And everybody just take a normal breath like you always do. Okay, very good. Did anybody have to teach you how to do that? No, we don't have to practice breathing or nobody had to teach us how to breathe. We just breathe because that's just the way we're made and that's how we keep going is to breathe, right? Okay, so nobody had to teach you how to breathe. Breathing is something we do all the time. But what we're gonna practice is bringing attention to our breath. It's something we do all the time, but we don't really pay attention to it. And when you bring mindfulness and attention to your breathing, then it can change things and it can make you feel a little bit differently. It can make sure that you're getting all the breath that you need for your body to be healthy and happy. So today we're gonna practice that. But first, raise your hand if any of you had a chance to practice your mindful bodies and mindful sound, being mindful of sound. Did anybody have a chance to practice that since the last time I was here? All right. If you didn't, that's okay. You still got lots of time. But if you did, maybe later you can share with the class how you uh, practiced that and what you noticed. All right. Okay, so who can tell me what an anchor is? Raise your hand. Teacher, you can pause the video and see who in your class knows what an anchor is and what it's used for. That's right. An anchor is used on a boat, right? It's a big thing that you, it's kind of heavy and you throw it overboard and the anchor keeps the boat stable. It keeps it right where it's supposed to be. If the boat starts to drift off, it pulls it back to where it's supposed to be. Today, we're going to learn about how to use an anchor for mindfulness. So everybody raise your hand up in the air and I want you to pretend like this is your body's anchor right here. Okay. And your body is the boat. Actually, your mind is the boat. And sometimes when we're trying to be mindful, our thoughts drift away and they start thinking about other things except for what we're trying to draw our attention to. So raise your anchor up in the air. Now I want you to cast it overboard and onto your belly. Okay, this is gonna be your anchor. And everybody take a deep breath in and out. Just breathe with me for a little bit in. What do you notice happening with your anchor? If your anchor is on your belly, you notice when you breathe in, your, it rises, and when you breathe out, it falls. The rising and falling of your breath, the feeling that that feels on your hand is going to anchor your thoughts to be mindful of what it feels like during your breathing. So we're going to practice this. We're going to get in our mindful bodies. We're going to throw our anchors overboard and onto your belly. So go ahead and do that with me now. We're going to go ahead and close our eyes and do our one minute of mindful breathing. 
while we're doing this, I want you to take all your thoughts and energy and focus it onto your anchor. And you can even focus onto the way it feels with the breath going in your nose and out your mouth. What does that feel like? What does it feel like? Keep your thoughts focused on your anchor rising and falling. And if you notice that your mind starts to wander and you start to think about other things, maybe what you're hearing or something that happened last night or something that might happen later today, I want you to acknowledge that you drifted and that's okay because that is absolutely normal, but then bring your thoughts back to your anchor. And let's see how mindful we can be of our breathing in the next 60 seconds. Are you ready? Okay, remember, mindful bodies, reach your anchor, close your eyes, and here we go. Breathe in and out. How did that feel? Sometimes that can be very refreshing. Sometimes it can be very challenging to keep your thoughts and your energy focused on just your breathing. A lot of times, if we're feeling a little bit sleepy, taking a minute to do some deep mindful breathing and take some refreshing breaths can really wake us up. Sometimes at night, raise your hand. How many of you have trouble falling asleep at night sometimes? Interestingly enough, this is a really great practice for when it's time to go to sleep. I know I talked about last time getting in your mindful bodies as you lay on your bed. So you lay your arms straight down to your sides, palms up, let your legs relax and your feet just fall naturally to the sides and make sure your back and your neck is nice and straight. Take some deep mindful breaths and if you let yourself Anchor, anchor your thoughts to your breathing and just focus on your breathing as you fall asleep. That can really help you get to sleep fast. So if you have trouble falling asleep at night, I want you guys to try this the next couple of nights and see how it works for you. Mindful breathing is something that is very easy to practice because we're always doing it, right? We're always breathing. So you can practice this sitting at your desk in class. If you need a little pick-me-up, if you need help focusing, or you just need to take a quick 60-second break to clear your mind, anchor yourself, close your eyes and your mindful bodies, and do some mindful breathing. You can do this in the hallway as you walk. You can do this on the playground. You can do this in the car. You can do this at any time. So my challenge to you is see how many different places between now and the next time you see me, that you can practice your mindful bodies, your mindfulness of sound, and your mindful breathing. See about that, and I can't wait to hear from you. 
Also, I will be posting your journal questions at the end of this assignment, and I love getting all those wonderful and creative responses from you guys. So, pre-K through second grade, you can write or draw me a picture, and third through fifth grade, get your typing skills in and answer those questions. I'm so excited to read them all. We'll see you all soon. Bye.